Hi, myself Pranjita, working as assistant professor in KS Rangasamy College of Technology in Department of Information Technology. Today we are going to see the concept of control statements in object oriented programming language. Uh, in this control statement, we are going to see the decision making statements. Why we are saying it as a decision making statement means because the decision of the control loop is depending on the flow of the execution. So it is known as the decision making statements. There are four types of decision making statements. They are simple if statement, if else statement, nested if, st if else statement and then if else ladder. Let's see it's one by one and uh, with its syntax and the sample program. First we are going to see the if else, simple if else statement. In this if statement, this is the general syntax for the if statement. That is the if, that's test condition. Inside the loop we are going to give a set of statements. If the condition is true, what we are given inside the test expressions, then only the set of code inside the loop will be executed. Otherwise, it won't execute it. It will automatically come out of the if loop. It will like, uh, next we, will see, we are going to see about the example program for the if statement. This is the sample code here. Let's see, we have declared the two variables a and b and c out of enter any two integers. Then we will get the input from the users, the two values, that is a value and then b value. Then if, if let, let us assume the a value is 10 and then b value is 5. Then next we are going to check inside the if statement. If 10 is less than b, that 5, that is a is less than, greater than 5, then it will print the set of statement as a is less than b, a equal to 10. If suppose the condition is false, then it will print the statement given inside the second if statement, that is b is larger than a, a equal to that a value. Next we are going to see the if else statements. What is the main usage of the if else statement is if suppose the if condition is false it will execute the set of statements given inside the else statements. So inside the if, sta if, uh, if statement we are giving some <coughs> test expressions. If the test expressions fail then it, it will execute the set of code given inside the else statement. We are going to see the Sample program. This is a sample program for the if else statement here. Uh, if the, you let us assume the value of a is again 10 and the value of b is 5. If can be, if suppose uh, the given condition is true here, so the value of a is 10 and the value of b is 5, so a is greater than 5. So it will print the value of a is larger than b, then a equal to 5. If suppose let us give the value of a equal to 5 and then b equal to 10. Then the first condition fails, so it will automatically enter into the else statement and it will print the uh, output as b is larger than a, a equal to 5, 10. Next we are going to see the nested if else statements. The main usage of the nested if else statements is inside the if statement we will give the another if else statements. Uh, this is the general syntax for the if else statement. You see here, inside the first if statement, we have given another one if statement. So, this is the nested if in. Inside if, we can give the multiple if statements. This is the sample program for the nested if else statements. Here, uh, here we are getting the three values of three variables that is a, b, and c. Suppose if a value is greater than b, the condition is true, then it will automatically enter into the second if loop. And then it will check the value with c variable, that is a is greater than c. If suppose the two conditions are true, then only it will enter into the loop and it will print the value as a is larger among the three numbers. Otherwise, it will come out if, if suppose the first condition is true and then second condition is false, it will come out of the second if loop and it will enter the uh, statement given inside the else statement, that is c is largest among three. Uh, if suppose the first condition fails, it will come, uh, it won't enter inside the if loop itself. It will come and uh, it will go in, into the last else statement and then it will print it print it as C is not as among the three numbers. Next, what we are going to see is the if else ladder. Here, this is the general syntax for the if else ladder. Uh, the main difference between the nested if statements and the if else ladder is in the nested if if statement, we will give the multiple if statement inside the if statement, but here in the else statement we will give the another if condition. So if suppose the first condition is false, it will enter into the second else condition and check with the second condition. If the condition is true, it will print the statement given inside the second if statement. Likewise, it will check for the all the statements. If none of the statement is 
true then it will finally print the default statement given inside the lost else, else statement and it, and it will come out of the loop let's see the sample program for the next one this is the sample program for the uh, this program here the, we, have, we are entering the percentage of the particular students suppose let us assume the percentage of the student is 80 then we are going to check with the first condition if 80 is greater than or equal to 80 the condition is true here so it will give the output as secure distinction so the condition is true then it will come out of the loop if suppose we will give the condition as uh, 35 means percentage of 35 means then it will check with the first if, if condition the condition fails again it will check with the if else statement that is 35 is greater than or equal to 60 then again the condition fails then it will check again with the next else statement again the condition fails then fourth one also the condition is fails because we have given it as 35 is greater than or equal to 40 the condition again fails then it will finally enter the enter into the last else statement that is default statement and it will print as fail here this one is also the one of the decision making statement that is which sta statement this is a multiple way selection statement which is chosen among the several alternatives so here inside the switch statement we have given the switch and then test expressions as like the if statement then we have, we have given the multiple cases inside the switch cases depend upon the cases it will execute the set of block inside the cases if suppose none of the cases is satisfied then it will uh, print out the default statement given inside the default block and it will come out of the loop let's see the sample program for the switch statement this is the sample program for the switch, switch statement as usual, we have entered the two operator number that is value of A, value of B and then what operation we are going to perform here. If suppose the value of A is 2 and then value of B is 2, we are going to do the addition operations. Uh, it will enter into the switch statement, it will check, it will take the input from the user as addition symbol and it, it will enter into the loop and then the, it will check with the cases. The first case is satisfied with the addition symbol. So it will print as sum colon 4. So we will get this output. If suppose we will give the modulo symbol means in the operator. If suppose user enter the modulo symbol for the operator means. Then the none of the cases inside the switches fail. So it will enter into the default statement given inside the switch statement. That is invalid operator and it will come out of the loop. Thank you for watching the video.